Hi guys, today we are honored to have a very special guest with us on air, the one and only Mr. Farooq Syed. Thank you for having me, Vimal. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much for coming here once again. Um, H1 2024 has been phenomenal in terms of the Dubai real estate market. Um, how do you foresee this upswing, especially in terms of off-plan properties? I mean, we've had, a, as you said, it, a phenomenal year. Um, I don't see any slowing down in the market. If anything, compared to last year, we actually saw bigger sales, more number of transactions. Uh, there's a lot more uh, different nationality mix coming into Dubai, which is always nice to see that we're not just dependent on one nationality buying. We're seeing a shift towards multiple different nationalities buying. We're seeing a lot of Europeans coming in. Of course, we have our Indian Pakistani buyers. We have our uh, overall South Asian buyers. We have our Arab market. So we are seeing a lot of people moving in. Now we're also starting to see a lot of North and South Americans coming in, which is a market previously not very uh, well accustomed to the Dubai real estate we market. We have very recently opened the three business corridors, which includes, of course, Latin America, of course. which has got the search for us. Yeah. Uh, great. So how would, speaking about nationalities, Dubai is a home to various nationalities as we just uh, looked upon it. Um, how can we compare 2023 versus 2024 as on date? Uh, I mean, we're seeing more and more people coming in. I think um, what we have over 200 nationalities already. And if you look at overall, um, compare the top cities in the world, I don't think any other city is providing what Dubai is providing right now uh, for people. If you're someone with money sitting in South America, North America, Europe, uh, Asia, Southeast Asia, Far East, wherever you're sitting and you open up the map and you look at all the top cities for someone with money, where they can go and enjoy this lifestyle. I don't think there's any competition to Dubai right now. And I don't think there will be competition to Dubai for the next 10 years for the kind of lifestyle it provides, for the kind of value it provides, for the kind of safety, security, uh, lifestyle, schooling, education, uh, healthcare facilities. It's an entire package. Exactly. That's, it's, it's, it's a Dubai like a, package. Exactly. You know, so I don't think that there's any other city that competes at this level. And I don't think Dubai got here overnight. Uh, Dubai course. is a 30-year-old story, you know, a 30-year-long story, you know, from, th from the early 90s. I mean, I've been here since uh, late 80s, you know. So since then, you know, the way Dubai has been growing and putting its blocks together, we are now yielding. Uh, the profit of all of that hard work put into developing the city into what it is today. Yes. Even from a real estate market perspective, the way we are seeing the growth and the way we are anticipating the population to be growing, the number of businesses to be opening, we are going to be attracting a lot more people. I think Dubai right now is at a very interesting point in its history. And I think yes. we're going to see, um, you know, the rate of development that is happening right now thanks to the population surge and thanks to the, um, you know, surge in the number of new businesses opening up. Yes. It will really help fuel the market growth. And I'm very confident over the next few years. Actually, we've just taken a small bite into the high net worth uh, realm as we speak as well, because we've also seen multiple projects uh, launched back to back. Yeah. But the good high end premium luxury projects have also taken a huge markup as we speak for the first half of this year, of which is great news. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, the luxury buyer and the luxury segment of Dubai, um, if you compare it to what it is today as compared to four years ago, the number of $10 million homes that are sold in Dubai, uh, I mean, the number has, correct me if I'm wrong, over quadrupled. So it just shows exactly. that there's that many new buyers coming in for that $10 million plus home in Dubai. That's uh, a very nice <coughs> niche to have, especially when we compare it to a good neighborhood or an elite community lifestyle. Yeah. This is what people are choosing course, to have right of now. Of course. And like I mentioned earlier, I think anyone with money around the world is right now eyeing Dubai you know, for an opportunity within its real estate market. Yes, yes, I completely agree. Um, of course, you've been into uh, since the 80s, like you mentioned. You know, this uh, flipping the properties is very interesting when it comes to investors. Um, what would you suggest is a profitable timeline to see a logical capital appreciation? Uh, how long should an investor hold the property or huddle the property? So... Once uh, someone's buying an off-plan property, generally most developers have a stipulation that you cannot resell before uh, 30 to 40% payment is done. Um, I do believe 
holding it one and a half year to two years is a healthy timeline because the resale market picks up for the project when it's closer to completion. So nobody should enter the market uh, thinking that in six months they can do a quick flip and get out. Generally, this does not happen. If you're coming in thinking that I have uh, 10% or 20% of the funds and I want to have a quick flip, a profitable flip, of course, brokers will paint a beautiful picture, but I don't believe that that's uh, doable in today's property market. Realistically. It's not realistic. I think you should have a two-year timeline minimum for a project that's handing over, let's say, in three years. Because when right. the project is, let's say, seven to eight months, up to a year maximum from completion, that's when you will notice that resale markets start to pick up. We're already seeing villa communities right now and uh, apartment projects as well, which are nearing completion that have a very active resale market. And that is the time where, you, where an investor who has invested, let's say, 50, 60 percent can get out at a very profitable rate. Yes, the exit point is clear exactly. on a profit exactly. margin. Uh, that being said, uh, we also see a kind of a slight difference when we compare an investor who's just purchased as a one retail apartment or a townhouse yeah. as compared to in bulk. Yeah. Because the concept is when you purchase in bulk, you quickly liquidate a part of the bulk purchase and then you carry it on towards the handover. Of course. Yeah. I mean, uh, people who are buying in bulk obviously get a price advantage. They get a payment plan advantage. Um, they're able to get the most premium units in a development. Uh, because for flipping or for people who want to buy and resell, um, you want to buy the most premium piece of the project. Because right. those are the ones that are able to be uh, sold fastest. So when you're buying something at a better rate, at a more profitable, um, you know, sorry, a, a more favorable payment plan, and it's the most premium part of the project, it'll be uh, more... It's a hot cake. Yeah, I mean, it's hot cake, and you'll be able to sell it much faster than the remaining units in the building. So that's the uh, place where bulk investors really capitalize on their investment. That's the and sweet spot for exactly, the Exactly, and they're able to exit uh, easily and, of course, are able to rotate their investment. Right, right. Um, also, when we talk about the holiday homes, uh, we have seen a great... Uh, concept with the holiday homes when it comes to high rental yields. Yeah. Uh, whether we categorize in terms of affordable or luxury uh, housing. So, what are your comments in terms of uh, percentage that we can talk about? Uh, so, holiday homes has been very hot over the last few years because a lot of more people are moving into Dubai, not just tourists, but even short term um, rentals in terms of monthly and two months, three months has been picking up a lot because a lot of people are moving in even people with their families or people by themselves and they want to rent something short term. Yes. They want to get into the, uh, uh, sorry, they want to get into Dubai and they don't want to uh, lock themselves in for a yearly Long contract because they don't know the areas in Dubai. They're not sure where they want to be. They're not sure where they want to send their kids to school. So what they're doing is they're renting short term rentals and that's why we're seeing, I mean, we run a short term rental company as well. So it's a part of our business. You know, we, we, we do that for all our clients. Right. Um, and we're seeing in terms of percentage, your question was, what's the percentage that you can expect a rental return? A healthy rental return in Dubai can rain, range anywhere from 5 going up to 7% generally. I mean, I would say uh, 70 to 80% of Dubai's real estate falls within that 5 to 7% rental return a bracket. If you're doing holiday homes, you should expect at least a 20 to 25% increase Said it. of that rental yield. Because if I'm renting it to one family or one person who's going to take care of my property, instead I'm renting it on short term when I'm going to have, let's say, 10 different tenants or sometimes even more if it's a more touristy location where people are coming in for five days a week. So I'm going to be having <clears throat> a lot more people moving into my apartment, moving out of my apartment. <clears throat> so of course, I want to make sure that I can make money out of the wear and tear. So... Oh, I mean, a holiday home rental, you should be aiming to be, um, you know, achieving close to 10% rental yield. And of course, property. it's a tax-free haven. And we're of talking course. about 10%, which is brilliant. This is excellent. And that's why pe when we're talking to an international investor who's used to 2% or 3%. Yesterday, I was sitting with a German uh, investor of ours and he was like, Farouk, in our country, I'm unable to achieve more than two and a half. I said, two oh, and a half. Boy. I said, wow, it takes you 40 years for your property to get repaid. He said, yes, nearly. I said, wow, that is, uh, that is no insane. In Dubai, of, uh, investment in that. Uh, in Dubai, if you're able to do holiday homes, in 10 years, you can get your money back. If you get 7%, you're able to 
still i mean within 15, 13 to 15, 17 years you can get your money back out of an investment and that's he said you know right. that's that's the beauty of dubai that's said, the beauty yeah, of true. dubai i said yes. that's true um also we see a lot <coughs> of uh, new budding agents and agencies in the market uh how do you foresee this as a healthy uh forum for the real estate uh, trend you know uh, going for the future what do they say honey attracts the flies i mean they always <laughs> say i mean uh no but besides jokes i think um it's always healthy um you know to have competition i think um uh, recently i read uh or i heard on some video that there's 5427 agencies as of that point of time which was probably a few months ago i'm sure it's already increased it's already gone up to you know 5600 5700 agencies um that being said number of agents has now crossed in my opinion okay official numbers are such but if you just take the unofficial numbers i think it should be close to i guess would be close to 50000 agents in the market but what what this does is um of course the competition is good but there's that much business happening in dubai exactly everyone the demand is, has increased everyone is getting a piece of the pie you know um i mean if you're an agent you don't make money of course what do you do you look elsewhere so if that's there many that many agents in dubai it's because there's that much transactions and that much money and commissions to be had you know so if you're someone good in the real estate market i'm sure you can aim to get a bigger piece of that pie and it's very very achievable especially i always say to my team that we are lucky to be in the city at this time and of course in this industry yes thank you so much that was very insightful and of course a great kudos to yourself and your entire team i think they're in right hands when it comes to trading and i think that's keeping them ahead of the chase irrespective of the huge influx in terms of agents <laughs> thank you thank you so much for being with us once thank again thank you for having me looking forward pleasure. to a long term relationship for sure well thank you so much for thank having you. me thank you